So my first experience um, was very exciting because obviously it's the first time going into space. Um, but at the same time, I was um, just very relieved that we finally launched. And the reason I say that is because we were supposed to launch in May of 2003. And because the Columbia accident happened, and once we finally got down to our launch window, we had a number of you know, little issues at the very end. And so it ended up being three and a half years plus another 12 days before we launched. So by the time I launched, I was very, very happy to finally say, OK, I'm now going into space. Just looking out the window and looking back at the Earth, that it's looking at a planet is just incredible. We have such a beautiful planet. Um, it really struck me how blue, anytime you look out the window, the first thing you see is you see blue and you see white, which is the water and the plants. And that's the first thing that you know, struck me. But it's, it's just a, an amazing planet. Much harder to always figure out where you are. I think Maldives could have a successful space program. Um, because you know you have the enthusiasm to go into space. I think you know, I have no doubt that there's people here that have the technical expertise um, or, or can learn the technical expertise to get in. And it's just something that you know the country will start out small and you know, maybe launch a small satellite to begin with. But then once you have successes, you build on those successes, and maybe someday we'll see a Maldivian in space. So the first thing I tell them is you have to study hard. Because the first thing NASA looks at is what did you do in university? What did you study? And then they look at you know what did you, how did you apply that? So you have to be very good at what you do because lots of people want to be an astronaut. But it all starts with studying hard in school and especially math and science because NASA looks for a technical background. So you have to have that background in math and science, and then from there, whether you go on to engineering, or to physics, or to chemistry, or biology, um, you know, that, that's more dependent on what is it that you like to do, because you have to find something you like in order to, so that you can be good at it, and you know, hopefully it's something NASA needs, and they select you as an astronaut. Um, I think it's more of just having an understanding of what is going on during the launch. Um, you know, yes, it is risky because you're sitting on a launch pad with basically explosives, which is you know the rockets. But understanding what the risks are and knowing that yes, something can go wrong, but that everyone who is involved with the operation of getting you into space, they all want to see success. So everybody is working their hardest to make sure you have a successful mission. And you just accept the risks, because you know that it is it is risky, but the rewards um, far outweigh what the risks are. Oh, the, the response here in the Maldives has been fantastic. It's been wonderful. It's so heartwarming to come out and, and talk to children and to see the children. Some of them will come in in an astronaut outfit, which I think is just adorable. Um, I've, had, I've had little children give me pictures of outer space that they threw. And so everybody's excited about space.